right, in this installation, it's a very straightforward installation. This is a DIY that can take you not more than an hour, could be maybe like 20 minutes or even less. We are replacing this because one is for safety measure, reliability, and the second is because I am running an application that requires me to pass in a nozzle. But in this installation, it's very straightforward. First, you have to remove this clip this clip here you have to remove that and then second you go underneath you also remove the clip that is underneath there you remove that and you do the same on the boost pipe as well i am pretty sure you can see the boost pipe that's the one that is written lkn20 that is the boost pipe uh, from this angle this is the boost pipe that we are also replacing so you see this retainer clip you have to remove that retainer clip and you should have access to take out this boost pipe as well in most cases you don't necessarily have to remove the boost pipe but because the kit that i have is a whole assembly comes with the boost pipe as well as the charge pipe might as well just do the same this is the kit that I'm replacing. It's a very cheap kit. I didn't spend too much for this one because at the end of the day, all I want is just a way to place in the nozzle. So this is the entire kit. This is the charge pipe and the boost pipe as well. And this whole kit, this whole kit only costs 150. Quickly, I am going to assemble this and then we're going to install it. This is the space I mentioned earlier where I am going to place in the nozzle on another installation that I'm doing. Now for this kit, to make it easier, you have to do the top and then the bottom and you place in the bottom and the top and then after that you will put them together. I'll show you how that is done in a minute. You get this clamp. This is this one of the clamp. You put it here, and you get this hose, silicone hose. Pass it in. And the reason you have this silicone hose is for easy access to the charge pipe, like easy installation. Get a 10 millimeter socket with your impact driver and tighten this. This is fine and we can go ahead and install this one. This is the bottom part. We do the same thing, get a silicone hose. You pass it at the bottom here. And you get the clamp, this one pass it here like this and go ahead secure the clamp all right next you get this clamp just leave it inside because this is the one that we're going to place it here and we're going to clip it here so so you let it loose inside of this and we need to get the bottom part and get one of the clamp, put it here and get this one here. This is the part that goes into the bottom of the intercooler. Very nice, I really like this. All right, now you get this clamp and pass it inside like this. And you can get this hose and put in the silicone hose like this. It should go straight forward. It's not something that you have to struggle 
all right so i want to show you something there is a little bit of space here you see this this gap you want to make sure the silicone hose goes all the way in up to that and it should sit intact and then you pass in the clamp you want the clamp to be a little bit at the, on the edge and you clamp it all right now that we have this let's go ahead and uh, start installing this portion in the car first thing first is to remove this clamp get a flat screwdriver and take out the clamp my flat screwdriver is too fat it has something a little bit thinner pull up the clamp really pull it out like that and put it somewhere safe i'll just drop it on top here and next is to remove these two screws which holds the sensor use a t20 to remove these screws to take out the sensor put this screw somewhere safe there is one there is one at the back here can be a little bit finicky to remove but find your way to take it out shouldn't it be difficult the moment the moment you can use your finger to take the out and then push the sensor with your hands push it now once you remove the screws pull the sensor really hard and just drop it aside and you can take out the pipe now next is to go at the bottom and then take out the clip from the bottom and you should free out the pipe i am now underneath and i am going to remove the charge pipe this clip is the one that we are going to remove very easy yeah remove it like that you see it's out of the place and you can push out this one push it out and it is freed now we can go up and pull out the charge pipe now i can pull out the charge pipe since and voila now next thing you have to do is to get this clip and transfer it to the newer one that we got now we have to get this clip so to remove this clip first you have to take out this plastic here it's very easy you can just use your hands and push it outside like this right so this one you push it with your hands this way it should just come out like that just push it with your hands it should come out and you'll be able to remove this guy so you don't have to break anything like that we we'll remove this clip and we have to transfer this clip into the new one and get this oem one you can place it back because it's very easy to uh, to remove and place it back into the place now get a new one get a clip and place it in the new one like that see like that you place it inside you see this is this is where it is if i show from this side you can see the clip right here we place it inside you can see it right here once you place your retainer clip make sure you open it up this is how i open it up you see you put it out a little bit out of its place something like this right pull it up something like this you see that Now we're almost ready to place the charge pipe, but there are a few things you need to do before we do that. We have to get the O-ring, which we have on the old one and migrate them to the new one. So use a pick tool and be careful your pick tool not to damage the O-rings. And 
take out the face o-ring well you can buy a new one if you want but i don't have that time to buy a new one so get this one and replace it on the and place it into the new one i'm just gonna clean this because i right, cleaned it up to take out the grease and i'll get this Not the other one. Where is it? This one. You don't need to put grease on it. Like that. Perfect. This looks perfect. And we do the same thing on the bottom. Now the bottom will have a lot of oil or grease, however you may call it have something to wipe before you take it out. Make sure you don't damage this o-ring with your pick tool. Just be gentle. All right, the o-ring is placed. Now it's time to drop this in. you have the bottom part on don't forget to get this and place it inside better is to place it at the bottom side like that and you get this guy this one and place it on the throttle body and you get this retainer clip for the throttle body Make sure you align everything properly and push it in. You may also see that there is a little bit of a displacement of the, uh, of the sensor. The sensor is now all the way this side here, a little bit far and the cable might be not long enough, but you pass it underneath the throttle body and uh, the cable should reach this side over here. So we displace it a little bit and come over here and uh, you should be all good this is the sensor and the sensor will go inside here and you just press hard to let it in but before i can put the sensor i want to connect this guy to this one here The boot side is the most straightforward part. You take out this clamp, the same thing, use a flat screwdriver, pop this clamp, and you do the same on the, on the turbo side. You pop up the clamp, and you'll be able to remove this boost pipe. Boost pipe, you have to remove it from the bottom. You can't remove it from the top. And we do the same thing we did on that side. Push this clip with your finger like that and you should be able to remove this guard and put it back on the original one and you do the same on this side all right we got the clips out put this back and store this somewhere if you want now after you take out those one now you have to transfer those clips you can do them after or now but make sure there is one smaller diameter and the other one is bigger diameter the smaller diameter is the one that goes into the um what they call it in, into the turbo so you get this the smaller clip that goes into the table and you place it inside and you get the bigger one you place it inside as well like that I'm doing it this way so that I don't lose these clips. Okay, the pipe. And pass it this way. All right, I have the boost pipe on. You can see that everything is set. 
and uh, we are all good to go and i hope you learned something if you have any questions leave in the comments and i hope i get you on the next one